Hello, welcome to The Update. I'm Susie Thompson. The family of Australian boxer Justice Hooney says they're holding each other close after their Brisbane home was shot at overnight. At least five shots were fired into the house in Sunnybank Hills. Bullets went through the front windows and into the lounge room and Justice's father, Rocky, says it's lucky no one was injured. Our six-year-old granddaughter that we usually feed in that rocking chair that's in, the, uh, in our lounge room and one of the bullets was right at that chair. So if anyone was sitting on that chair, either it would have got the baby or my wife. A new national strategy to transition to clean energy is being described as a good first step towards a renewable future. Part of the scheme will allow the energy regulator to buy and store gas. Richie Merzian from the Australia Institute is welcoming the move. For the first time, you have all the energy ministers in the country on a unity ticket, and that is a clear desire to phase out fossil fuels from the electricity system and to do so as quickly as possible so we're not in the same painful position as we're in now. A survivor of the Texas school shooting has told a public hearing how she played dead to avoid the shooter's attention. The bipartisan committee is looking into America's controversial gun laws. 11-year-old Maya Cirillo has told the hearing of what she had to do to survive the massacre. When I went to the barracks, uh, he shot my friend that was next to me. And then I was thought he was going to come back to the room so I grabbed the blood and, and put it all over me. Plastic on our beaches has been cut by almost a third. A CSIRO study into waste reduction habits has found 29% less plastic along our coastline compared with 2013. A house and car in Adelaide have been damaged by fire after being targeted by Molotov cocktails. And Crown's long-awaited Sydney casino is expected to open within weeks. After winning approval from the gaming regulator, the Barangaroo Casino will be allowed to operate once its takeover by private equity firm Blackstone is complete and once it's given its final governmental approval. To Sport, brought to you by Ladbrokes Mates Mode, the better way to chat, share and bet together. T's and C's apply. And remember, gamble responsibly. Call 1800 858 858. New South Wales could rush Latrell Mitchell back for State of Origin 2, provided he proves his fitness for the Bunnies. Mitchell hasn't played for two months due to a hamstring injury and COVID-19. And the Boomers have named their squad for the upcoming World Cup qualifiers. Matthew Delavadova and Thon Maker a part of the team to play China, Japan and Chinese Taipei. Brian Gorgian returns as coach. In entertainment news, Post Malone has inked the face of Seth Myers. He took to him with a sharpie to give him some temporary tats just like his while they hung out at a New York City bar. And that's the latest from the Nova Podcast News team. We'll see you tomorrow morning for another episode of The Update. I'm Susie Thompson.